Hi, I'm Lee Coombs, and this is my observatory. Um, I built this about 25 years ago. Uh, it's a 10 by 16 foot building, and it has a roll-off roof, which I'll show you in a moment. And I've got a couple piers with my instruments that I use mostly for my observing and my photography. So I'll go in and open things up, and then uh, I'll show you what I have. Come on in. <laughs> okay, I would like to describe some of the equipment I use uh, on a regular basis. Uh, this is uh, my, my, my refractor, my refractor area. I have both a four inch and a six inch astrophysics refractor. I use these instruments primarily to photograph the sun, the moon, the planets. I do double star measurements sometimes with these refractors. And so uh, that's why I use mainly visually and photographically. Uh, oftentimes when I'm photographing using another other equipment, I might use these visually while I'm waiting for the photographs to be taken with the other instruments. So this is uh, one of my main instruments. The other is this six inch, I'm sorry, eight inch Newtonian, which I use primarily for deep sky photography. I don't use it visually very much, but I use it for most of my deep sky work. And uh, I use uh, DSLR for most of my imaging. And I use as a guider, uh, a standalone auto guider, an ST4, which I've used for many years. Uh, I like the standalone auto guider because it doesn't require a a uh, computer or anything like that. It's, it's more or less self-contained. And this particular instrument, once I get the object uh, that I wish to photograph in it, and this is a go-to mount, so all I have to do is plug in the, uh, or, or type in the object I want to photograph and it automatically points the telescope to it. I have a guide scope uh, off to the side which can go off axis to find a suitable guide star. And then I can do all my photography with this. And uh, I've had this scope for about five or six years, ever since I decided to do uh, digital photography. I got an eight inch. I used to have a 10 inch that I use uh, with film photography, but I stopped doing that quite a few years ago. And then one other scope I use quite a bit for my work, uh, it's a stellar view. It's an 80 millimeter refractor, ap apochromatic refractor, just like the others I showed you. And I use this for lower magnification, wide angle photography of uh, larger objects like the North American Nebula and the Andromeda Galaxy and the like. So these are my, my main instruments that I've been using for many years. And I've enjoyed using all of them, get a lot of use. It's wonderful to have a permanent observatory so you can just walk out and start doing your uh, astronomy. The one other thing I had to do when I designed this building is to be able to get to the low southern horizon. And I can do that now by simply lowering this drop wall section. I'll do it very quickly for you. And this allows me easy access to the southern horizon for this lower mounted re reflector. So this is my little playhouse. <laughs> and I spent many wonderful hours out here. Like I say, the, the observatory was built about 25 years ago. And I've had uh, most of this equipment uh, for more years than I want to admit.